Good Thursday afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Former Packers Executive Vice President, General Manager and Director of Football Operations, Ted Thompson has died. The 68 year old revealed he was diagnosed with autonomic disorder in 2019. So let's go into talk with Lance Allen in the newsroom with reaction and there is a lot of it. Certainly is Charles and Shannon. You know, it's one of those situations where Ted Thompson was a very private man, secretive, both with his Packers job in real life. He tried not to give the media any info, but one of his best quotes, I know for a fact that they don't have any inside information because sometimes I'm the only inside information and I'm not telling anybody. Thompson also felt the wrath of Packers fans having the conviction to draft Aaron Rodgers with his very first ever draft choice and later orchestrate the trade of fan favorite Brett Favre. I did receive this text from Brett Favre to share on the passing of Thompson today. Quote, sad news of the passing of Ted today. Ted was a friend and should be remembered as a very important piece to the Packers present day success. Earlier, current head coach Matt LaFleur shared his thoughts. Just want to say our, our condolences go out to his family. Um, certainly he's a guy that is held in the highest regard in this building. And I think just around the league, he's had a tremendous impact, um, not only in people in this building, obviously, Goody and, and a lot of our personnel people, but people in other departments as well. Um, his impact is still felt to this day. Thompson criticized for not going after more free agents, but today future Hall of Famer Charles Woodson, he was one of those free agents that Thompson signed. He tweeted that Ted took a shot on him and thanks for bringing in this washed up player. Gotta like Sir Charles, still an ultimate competitor. Live in the newsroom, Lance Allen, TMJ4 Sports. We'll have more reaction coming up. All right, all right, Lance, thanks. And you can find expanded coverage and reaction on this story on TMJ4, the streaming app, and TMJ4.com.